this is what the skin is given with no makeup on let's get right into it the first thing i do whenever i'm doing my makeup is i go in with my eyebrow gel from benefit this is honestly my favorite brow setter like so what i do is i just brush my eyebrow hairs up and then i kind of let it to dry for a little bit and then i go in with my makeup revolution eyebrow pencil just to let you guys know everything in this product is my faves like this is things that i use and i know my makeup's gonna come out banging like for me personally on days when i'm going out there's no time to try new makeup there's absolutely no time there's no time for error there's no time for tears there's no time for stress so i'm showing you guys everything i would use to make sure my face is beat and i know it's gonna come out good so i'm going in with this uh, makeup revolution brow pencil i just um use hairline strokes i'm quite light with this because i don't really like my eyebrows too dark right now you know i don't know how i'm going to be in a year's time because the way makeup changes is crazy because how many years ago was our eyebrows black and harsh and dark but now we're doing soft brows so you never know <laughs> which era of makeup we're going to be in next week but honestly um so yeah, I kind of like them quite soft and quite natural. As you can see, like, it's not much difference to what my actual uh, natural eyebrow looks like already. I'm just kind of more of filling in the gaps and just making some area um, to look like there's hairs where there isn't. So I'm quite um light with my hand on this. And I just try to do um, brow strokes. So just brow strokes that will mimic natural hairs. Um, so now I'm going in with this Tarte um, concealer for my brows. And honestly, I feel like I have been sleeping on top. I'm not going to lie. If you know how long I've had this top concealer for. And I've just had it in my makeup kit. And I haven't touched it. But I picked, I've picked it up recently and started using it. And I'm like, damn, like this is good. Like The consistency is really nice. It's actually got a really, really good coverage. And then on the top, I use my foundation shade just so it blends into my skin a bit more because I don't really want the top half of my brows to kind of stand out. I don't really care. I just want more of like my arch and like the bottom of my brows to kind of be a bit more prominent just to show that I've cleaned them up. So now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier primer. This is like my favourite primer. It's like a blurring primer, but I feel like it really mattifies my face and it just helps with the longevity of my makeup. This was like one of those buys that I literally bought by accident and it turned out to be so great. So to avoid smile lines, what I do is I make sure that primer is really set into my creases and then I go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder and I like puff out my cheeks, fill them with air so like there's no creases in like my skin because obviously it's puffed out and then I push powder into my, my smile line areas. Yeah, I've been doing that recently and I've actually seen a difference in like my smile line. Okay, so now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using my Anastasia um, foundation. But look at the shade match. It looks good. It looks good. This foundation is more like a, I think it's like a luminous foundation. So for my foundation, I like to go in with a beauty blender just to kind of give me a kind of medium-ish coverage. looks like it looks really good it's got good coverage so i'm going in with the tart concealer again like i said before it's like the shade is like and it's a nice shade but obviously i like a bright under eyes so it's not enough i'm going in with um the made by mitchell blush bronzer 
and honestly this is um first liquid bronzer that i've ever actually liked like i've tried to use like liquid contours and liquid even like foundation sticks that like a bronzer but i just never really liked them or well, i did like the tones of the colors but when this came out and i tried this yeah like this me and this go together like me and made by mitchell's blush bronze we go together the color is nice it mimics like the shades i would use in my actual bronzers so i like that So then now I'm going in with Born This Way um, concealer. I think this is the shade Butterscotch. So this is what I'm going to use to like just brighten my under eye a little bit. I should really get a fan because what am I doing? <laughs> and I like to let my concealers just dry down for a little bit but not too much. And I kind of like to blend my concealers at the same time because I realise that once you, leave, once you blend out one and you've left the other one, that one's now more like of a fuller coverage than the other eye. So I just tend to like blend them together so like they're at the same level of consistency and coverage. I'm even going in again with another shade. I think this shade is warm beige or something like that or sand beige. Evidently I was going for a bright under eye this day, you know, it's what we love around here. So then I went in with my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder to set. So also like, just to avoid um, my smile lines, I like to put translucent powder. I make sure I blow my cheeks out again and then put that powder to set like the foundation in my smile lines, which these steps have honestly helped with my smile lines. I know right now I look scary, but don't worry. It's got to come together. Makeup is a process. So now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty powder foundation and it's, like the coverage on this is Ooh, like it's got a good coverage like some days i just use this as foundation so i went in with my all-time favorite if you guys know me you guys know that mokamami infancy beauty bronzer that is my go-to you will never not see me wear that bronzer like yeah so i'm just going in that to warm my face you can't not love mokamami it's so good I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution blush, which is actually the only blush I use. It's really pigmented, and when I first bought this, this was four pound. And look how long I've had this for like four years, I think. Um, we don't check expiry dates on makeup over here, by the way. So. Um. <laughs> contoured my nose with um, the Mocha Mami. Me on a normal day, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm not wearing eyeshadow. Like, even this brown on my eye, like, I, I'm, I have to fight myself to do it because I'm like, I love, like, the smooth, the clean. You see the colour that was on it before? That, that, that smooth colour, I just love that. And there's something about that I just love. Like, so sometimes when I just have to put on this brown eyeshadow, I'm, like, fighting myself, like, do I really want to do this? I'm going in with my Revolution Matte Fix Plus Braid, which I love. It just keeps you matte, just, and it's affordable. Mascara. mascara i'm not too picky with my mascara because i actually always wear lashes and you can't see so i just put on mascara really just to kind of make sure my eyelashes are black and there's no more makeup on them so it blends with my eyelashes we 
look gorgeous. Are you capturing my beauty correctly? Because the camera just looks scary. Mm. Let us do our lip cam home. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe um, lip pencil, I think it's called, which is completely sold out everywhere. Like I can never find it. It's so annoying. <laughs> I just 